this on one side. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Wee Wee Bills. What we have planned for today, we're gonna get this cleaned up, then we start working on it, pulling off parts, and see all that we need, make a parts list, order everything, and then start putting this car back together. And before we start anything, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's some spots in the seat, I don't know what they are, if it's paint or what, but I'm gonna try wipe it off. So let's check out how many miles this car has. 25,000 miles, 25,306 miles. That's not a lot of miles. But we still got a whole bunch of warning lights. But the only thing that we want to focus on right now is just getting this car started. So we're going to remove the steering wheel earbag right now. So there's a little hole. Hold on, let me get a light so y'all could see. So there's a little hole right there. Once you push the screwdriver in it, there's a pin that you press, you're pressing in to release the airbag. Just press on one side. I already did and I already did the other side. There are two clips. So, so this one is all the functions in the steering wheel and this one is is just for the airbag. So just squeeze the clip down 
and pull it out. And that's it. The airbag is out. The interior is all clean. Now we gotta try to take some of these parts off. And whatever we remove, we'll, we'll try to start it again and see if it works. We're still waiting on that piece for the battery. Once that comes in, we change it, we put it on, it should start up and nothing right here should bother, bother the engine. And so we could get it to move. So let's start pulling off some parts. We got the radiator off, the fan off, they're over there. It's raining, we're still working. Just like that, the fender is off. So you have these three clips that hold it. One screw right here, one right here, one up here, one up here, and one here, and one here. And everything else is just pretty much clips holding it. We already got the radiator off, the fan, the intercooler, and some other miscellaneous parts. See a lot of hoses are broken over here. And then here's the fan the radio assembly and all that. So as you can see, it's a mess. So we'll catch you tomorrow when we have more stuff to get complete. It's the next day. So we're gonna pick up from where we left off yesterday. We have the knee ear back to take out. We got some parts last night. So let's open these boxes and see what we got. They steering wheel here bag. So we got the air intake pipe. We got some more stuff for part two. Have the rest of the hoses for the air intake. Yeah, we got everything. So we have all the parts for the air intake and all the for, for the pipes. So we're gonna put those on in the next episode. So let's go hop on the knee ear bag. We gotta take the knee ear bag out. So there should be like four bolts under here. So two on this side and two on that side. So 
and we gotta clip this out. So let's get to it. you disconnect the wires and this is the knee earbud this is what it looks like so that's out the way let's put back up everything else can't forget make sure you write down where every screw and every bolt comes from so you don't mess up when putting them back back together So that's a wrap for today's, today's video. Don't forget like, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to check us out on We Underscore Rebuilds on Instagram. We post sneak peeks before YouTube. We already got the, the knee airbag out, the steering wheel airbag out, which is the radiator off and the fender off. So that's all we did for this video. We're still waiting on some more parts. So until next time, stay positive, stay motivated.